Hello my little donut holes, welcome back to another Splatoon Tips video. All the previous tips can be found in the video description below. If you already know these tips, awesome! But there are lots of people out there that still make these mistakes either because they're new or they just don't know any better. Anyway, with all that out of the way, let's get started. Number 1. Don't stay inside the zone. There are several reasons why you shouldn't do this. Number 1. When you die, did you know that you leave a huge puddle of enemy ink? If you die inside a zone, the puddle of enemy ink that just exploded out of you will only make it that much easier for your opponent to capture the zone. Number 2. If you're inside the zone, the opponent will have the opportunity to kill you and capture the zone at the same time. You know, kill two birds with one stone. But if you're outside the zone, the opponent will have to make a decision to either kill you or stop the counter. Here I forced this guy to come after me instead of capturing the zone and we ended up winning the match because of it. And the third reason to not stay inside the zone is if you're hiding inside of it and the opponent captures it like so, you are trapped and screwed like this guy. I know there are some maps like Camp Triggerfish where it's difficult to get to the opponent without crossing the zone, but just be mindful and try to stay out of it at all times. If you need to paint the zone, don't do it standing inside of it. I'm going to repeat this one more time. If you need to paint the zone, don't do it standing inside of it. Number 2. Don't use killer whales. I see a lot of players use them in splat zone matches and it doesn't help them at all. I see players blindly aim the killer whale at the splat zones and pray that an opponent gets caught in the crossfire, or that it will magically capture the splat zone for them. No, just no, that's not how it works. If you want a special that will capture a splat zone for you, use bomb rush or ink strike. Like take this clip for example, whoever is using this kill whale probably thought, oh, Arowana Mall is a very tight and narrow map. Surely my killer whale will get someone. No, just, for the love of Wumi, stop using killer whales in splat zones. It's not going to help you. Number 3. Don't be a sniper in splat zone. There are two main reasons for this. Design-wise, snipers are not good for covering turf. They just don't provide good in coverage. Yes, you can spam your trigger button, but the coverage still isn't that great. And what's worse is that chargers take a couple of seconds to charge up, with the exception of bamboozlers, but still. There are some maps like Hammerhead Bridge where the sniper can capture the splat zone pretty quickly, but to do so, they would need to be out of their sniping positions. So yeah, even that's not good. The other main reason is that snipers have bad habits. Here is a clip of a sniper in S plus rank, and it pretty much shows how he and other snipers are bad at splat zones. So let's go ahead and list the reasons why these players are so bad at splat zones as snipers. Fail number one. He is so tunnel vision into trying to snipe other players. Here's the mindset of most snipers. I have to try to get those glorious sniper shots or else I'll look bad. You know, because kills as a sniper is everything. I've got news for you man, it's the things you're not doing that makes you look bad as a sniper. Look at how much precious time he wasted in the past minute trying to kill people. He would have gotten better results with other long range weapons. And fail number two, he's not even trying to stop the counter because he's so fixated on trying to get those sniper shots. My point is if you cannot quickly snipe other players and take control of a zone as a sniper. I'd advise against playing as a sniper in splat zone matches because you're causing more harm to your team than you realize. Number 4. Controlling the splat zone in Arowana Mall. Once you have control of the splat zone in Arowana Mall, there is really only two places you need to defend. The side pass and this spot right here. The side pass for obvious reasons, but having control of where I am right now gives you a great vantage point and you can deny players from coming up the middle and from the right. Just don't venture too far off into their base because the closer you move to their base, the more places they can ambush you from. Or worse, they can completely sneak by you to get to the splat zone. 
Anyway, that's it for now. As always, if you find this helpful, or if you know other players that might benefit from this, please share them. Until next time, love you all. Bye!